Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I know I'm late on the game, but I wanna share my August TBR. TBR stands for To Be Read, so a TBR is a list of books you wanna read. I make a monthly TBR, meaning this is a list of books that I want to read in August. I hope to read them, but it's not guaranteed. It's never guaranteed. But I wanted to share the books that I'm in the mood for now. So let's just see if I can complete this list in August. We'll just, you know, hope for the best. Let's just get into it. All right, first I will talk about the book I'm reading right now. I'm absolutely loving this book. I am reading Divine Rivals on my Kindle. It is on Kindle Unlimited. It is phenomenal. Update, I have finished it. That book broke my heart into a million pieces in the best way possible. I need the second book immediately. You have to read this book. The writing is beautiful. It's very poetic. There's some very thought-provoking quotes in there that I have saved. I've highlighted a lot already and I just love it. It's a fantasy book, but so far it hasn't gotten too deep into the mythical stuff yet. There's a girl named Iris and Iris is a writer and she is rivals with another writer and they have this weird connection though. I don't want to go too deep into it, but it is a fantasy book and there's some romance in it and I'm really, really loving it so far. Now, I will start with the mystery books or thriller books I've been wanting to read. I have read so many cutesy romance books, which you can't see all of them right now, my romance shelf. I've read so many really cute, sweet love stories recently, and sometimes I just need a break. I would consider myself a mood reader. I'm in the mood for something, and then I get tired of a, of a certain genre, and then I switch to another one. So right now, I'm really in the mood for mystery books. I think I'm just getting in into the fall spirit. Fall is not my favorite hol holiday. Fall is not my favorite season, but I'm really ready for it because it's scorching hot in Georgia right now. <laughs> so I could use a little bit of cooling off. When I think of fall, I think of spooky season and I just want to get my mind ready, even though it's still August. I still have two months to go, but I can, I can drink. The first book I really want to read, I actually just recently got this. This is one of my most recent purchases. This is Truly Devious. This is a young adult mystery. It's set at a private school where the best and the brightest students are. There's an abduction and they, there's a riddle that they have to solve to figure out where where they are and it becomes one of the greatest unsolved crimes. So years later, it's a cold case that Stevie Bell is trying to work on. She's determined to solve this case. I really loved, I can't read it right now, but a Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. I really liked the first one especially. That is a young adult mystery book and I feel like this is gonna be very similar. The next book, I know there's a sticker on it, Oh well. It's Finley Donovan's Killing It. I've had this on multiple TBRs before, I've just never read it. This is about an author who inadvertently accepts a job as a contract killer when she's in public discussing her murder mystery book. There's there's so many layers to that, and I think it'd be really funny, but also there I'm sure will be some mystery. I think the humor is gonna be so funny. The humor's gonna be so funny. Of course it will. I hope it will, because it's humor. I'm really excited for this. Also, I never mentioned why I'm wearing this. I work at a pharmacy, so I'm wearing scrubs right now. And when I get home from work, I change into my pajamas, and I felt like it was not appropriate for me to wear my pajamas on YouTube, even though I have before, I'm sure I have, but today was just not it. So this is why you get me in Barbie pink scrubs. Okay, and the last mystery I have is The Nancy Drew Files. This is a young adult version of Nancy Drew, and it's written by the same author who wrote The Little Kid version, and then the normal version, and then this version. I didn't even know this was a thing until I found it at Books A Million, and there's three different mysteries in one. Another genre that I wanna get back into, because I am reading Divine Rivals, I need to get back into fantasy. And I started Shadow and Bone, and I really loved that series, or I loved the first book. And I need to get back into it. I started reading Siege and Storm, I just was not in the mood. And this is a bigger book, and I've heard that this one's the slowest out of all of them. I just need to get through it. I need to make myself read it. So hopefully I can get through Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rising, so I can get to Six of Crows, which is the duology set in the same universe. Uh, you don't have to read the Shadow and Bone trilogy before you read Six of Crows. I just feel like I should. I want to, and I will. I've heard Six of Crows is better than the Shadow and Bone trilogy, so we'll put that to the test and see if it's true. Another book that's very out of my realm of what I normally read is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. I am reading this for a certain video idea that I am concocting in my brain. I heard this is a really good book, even if you don't normally like historical, or not, it's not historical fiction, it's general fiction, but it's set in the 80s, I believe, and it's about people who start a video game. It's not really what I would normally read, but I think I'm gonna really enjoy it. Okay, I'm flying through this, wow, okay. I know I said I didn't really wanna read a lot of more mystery right now, I mean, a lot more romance right now, but I wanna read 
the two Emily Henry books I have not read yet. I read Beach Read in July and I want to read the next two in August. I just love Emily Henry's writing in Beach Read. I didn't really like it in People Being Mean on Vacation, but it's really pretty writing in Beach Read, so I hope that it's just very pretty poetic writing in Book Lovers. And then their newest book is Happy Place. I've heard wonderful things about this book. It's very summery. I, <laughs> I know I said I wanted to get more into the fall spirit, but I definitely want to read this before summer is up. This is just the perfect summer read in my opinion. Um, they go to a lake house with all their friends. It's a beach house. Thought I should clarify that it's not a lake house because beach houses are superior. Even though I don't know why I'm saying that. I've never had one, but I'd rather go to the beach than the lake. <laughs> they're exes, but they're still fake dating in front of their friends because they don't want their friends to know that they broke up. I've heard that there's some serious topics dealt with in this though, so I'm not really sure what to expect. And there's some more on my Kindle that I want to read. I want to read a, well, this is a mystery book, another Frida McFadden book. A lot of her books are on Kindle Unlimited. I've read The Housemaid and The Housemaid's Secret. I want to read Never Lie. Newlyweds are searching for the house of their dreams, but when they visit the remote manor that once belonged to a psychiatrist, a violent storm traps them at the estate with no chance of escape until the blizzard comes to an end. Trisha happens upon a secret room. The room contains audio transcripts from every single patient the psychiatrist has ever interviewed. As she listens to the cassette tape, she learns about the terrifying chain of events leading up to the psychiatrist's mysterious dis disappearance. Um, I could not read this before bed. I don't really like reading thrillers before bed because I'm just a scary gal. If you wanted to know, I will read this during the daytime when it's light outside. The Housemaid was good. The Housemaid's Secret wasn't my favorite, but I like the way Freedom McFadden write. it writes. It's very simple to read. Some people I heard it irks them that it's so simple to read it seems childish it's just really easy to read and I like that then I also want to read another Mariana Zapata book because I really loved the first one I read I read Wait For It and she has several on Kindle Unlimited I need to see which ones are on Kindle Unlimited I think From Luke Love Would Love Is yes From Luke Love Would Love Is and that is a hockey romance and I think that would be really fun to read. Colty is a soccer romance I believe. Hands Down is a football romance which might be good to read because football season's coming up so I definitely want to read a Mariana Zapata book because I just loved the last book I read. What is the Bible verse for today? Philippians 4 8. Finally brothers whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. It's a beautiful reminder of everything that we are supposed to think about rather than all the negative things things in the world. There's so much craziness and junk, but if we dwell so long on everything that's going wrong in the world, we're going to get so bogged down, so sad, so depressed. This is not our permanent home by no means, but we still need to make the best out of it and be positive in situations. And it's hard to be positive if you're thinking about all the junk. And so this verse reminds me of things that I need to think about. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just. So think about these things and put your focus on the Lord in everything you do. I really hope this was a good reminder to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget you're welcome to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I hope you'll have a wonderful, wonderful day and be a blessing to others today. Bye guys.